Hi coaches, my name is Ron Silico and what I wanted to have, take the opportunity to do today was talk about our unique basketball zone defense which we call the ball matchup zone. The reason we call it the ball matchup zone is we configure the slides in our formations in such a way that we have a singular defender guarding the basketball and then we want to have a help defender on each side to help take away dribble penetration. Now, we also feel with the unique slides that we're going to be presenting that the offense doesn't have as many opportunities to attack two defensive players by driving gaps and then making plays. So here's our premise of the defense. When the ball's in the middle of the floor, and I'll demonstrate that right here, uh, we, we define the middle of the floor as lane line to lane line of the paint, going all the way from the baseline all the way to half court. So anytime the ball's in this area, that's what we consider the middle. What we want in that situation is we want the one man picking the ball up on the perimeter and then we, we are in either a 1-2-2 two, two, or a 1-3-1 defensive alignment with the other help defenders based on whether the offense is a high post player. If the offense has a high post player on the foul line, then we'll slide into a 1-3-1 one, one format, usually bringing the five man up, four man on the baseline. If the offense doesn't have anyone in the high post, then we're in our 1-2-2 two, two alignment that's demonstrated right here. Okay. So the ball's in the middle. We're, we, we've got a point defender on the perimeter. When the ball goes to the side, by the pass or the dribble, we then shift into a 2-3 alignment. And that allows us, again, to have a help defender on each side of the ball. And now we're able to protect the post, low post area as well. So when the ball's on this side of the floor, going from the one to two man side, our slides are pretty simple. Our two man takes the ball, five man moves to the middle, three man drops to the block. Now we're in our two, three alignment, okay? Now let's say the ball changes direction and goes to the other side of the floor. This is the one difficult slide of the zone. It's a slide common in the two, three defensive alignment but it does require a lot of movement and our three man has to be really active. We want our three man to be our best athlete. Uh, the way we've configured this setup is we like to have our three man run the right side of the lane in transition. Our two man runs the left side in transition, but you can configure it however you want. Uh, we also like having the three man on this side of the defense because most teams percentage wise shoot jump shots from the right side of the floor. And that puts us, that gives us a better athlete rebounding the backside. So, as we talked about, the ball goes from the top now to this wing. This is where we have that common 2-3 slide. Our three-man takes the ball. We want him to come out on the outside shoulder. We want our one-man, who needs to be a very quick, hustling, scrappy player, to kind of make a V-cut going to the elbow then coming out. Once the ball is covered, now we've got our three-man dropping off. Our five-man's covering the block. Our four man's got backside, and our two man's clogging the middle of the lane. You can see, regardless of where the ball is, and in, in this in the slide we just demonstrated, we've got our three man that can provide help on one side, and we've got our two man to help prevent help with dribble penetration on the other side. So that is the basic premise of our ball matchup zone. We're matching up to the ball, not individual players on offense.